Happy Friday. A few years ago, my dad and his siblings traveled to Ireland. Uh, they were going back to see the home country. You can trace the Doherty family name back to a certain county in Ireland, County Donegal. It's the sweatshirt I'm wearing right now that my dad brought back as a souvenir. It feels like knowing where you're from tells you a little bit about who you are, your, your history, your ancestry, just tells you a little bit about what you're made of. In the reading today in 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 21, John has been circling around these themes of, of who we are, and these words have come up, but in this passage, he just dives completely headfirst into the deep end of what this has all been about. In fact, in these 14 verses, John uses the word love 29 times. It's just in this incredible um, manifesto about who God is, who we are, and what we are to be doing in the world. So join with me as we read 1 John chapter 4, starting in verse 7, going through verse 21. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us his spirit, and we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how, we, this is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In the world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. Whoever does not love the brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command, anyone who loves God must also love their brother or sister. If you were with us this previous Sunday where we talked about the church in Ephesus and Jesus writing to them about uh, losing their first love, I think we can relate to the themes that John is talking about here. It was impressed upon John that love is the pinnacle of our faith because it is the character of God and it is how we know that God is in us and part of us that we are showing expressions of love to the world around us. It's not just the sweatshirts that we wear that identify us as spiritual descendants of God, but it's the way that we behave. So I pray that on this Friday, your choices, your conversations, your interactions with your family and friends, your comments on Facebook, I pray that all of those things are guided in the truth of God's love for you and in your love for the world around you. Happy Friday.